So here we go, going to round number one of our final between Sweden one star and Glory China one star. Let's see what happens as we have Tiger using the Super Queen strategy. This is the first time we've seen this today. Yep, and we've got five Tiger going against four one star Max. So a couple of Town Hall Alliance Super Queen can work uh, when we don't have those Inferno Towers. And absolutely, every attack is going to be critical in uh, this last clan war. There cannot be any missteps as the other clan is going to take advantage. Yeah, so you've got the uh, Lava Hound that's come out to meet the Queen and the Expo as long as it. The Expo's targeting the healers, though. Like, the Expo's taking out the healers, it looks like. Yeah, he popped the Queen's ability. And she was visible. The Expo targets the healers. Now the healers are going down one by one, so that's not a good outcome down there as the rest of the attack starts from the top. Not alone. But uh, that Queen is still at full health. It looks like maybe we've got enough healers up to keep her going. Yeah, he was able to take care of enough of these air defense. It actually turned out to be okay. No Queen to deal with as well. Let's see if he has enough of the moves to be able to storm his way throughout the base. Again, this is the lowest level town all night from China. Glory China won. Attacking Max to be maxed out town all night. So if you can pull this off, that'd be a pretty good start for Glory China. You know, she's at full health. Again, she's at 100%. Surprise. And the healer's doing a great job. Tiger from Glory China looking really good right now. 78% damage of that Queen. It's immortal. She will not go down. But it looks like the time might be on Glory China's side as the last structure goes down three stars. Nice. Wow, what a way to start out this war. Three stars for Glory China on that Town Hall 9. So a little bit of a chance for revenge for Sweden here. They are going to have two of their players attacking simultaneously. We've got the big man on here, Nile. Let's see if we can pull out. He's going to have a pretty familiar strategy to go in. And there's a lot of open enclosures here. You can see the way this base is set up. Not the same as the base each start, but it is number two. So they don't have the maxed out heroes. Uh, could you take advantage of this? I like the use of a widespread golems there. Dropping the heroes right down the middle. A couple of well-placed jump spells. Well, one well-placed jump spell. And hopefully he's in the core. But there's three layers of loss for those. We have to focus down that multi target in the Tower. There it goes. Good free spell froze the uh, Inferno, froze the Expo, froze some of the Clan Castle troops as well, but that Far Inferno is a single, and again, it's going to be a matter of what it focuses on. If it's on a high value troop, that's the time to freeze it. Will he wait? Will it find the king? We can only wait to find out. There it goes. And who did it say? Well, it looks like the queen used her ability. Uh, the king is still nearly full health. All right. Well, that Inferno Tower actually went down. That was set in multi, which is really big for those witches in the back line. He's going to need to keep those guys alive. But like we've seen the previous raid, the king is going on a strong free zone around the base. And I'm just hanging out and having a good time. And that should probably wrap up the great 65% two-star, though. Well done for Nile and Sweden one star. Nice job by Sweden. Glory China has 12 stars at the end of the second round at an absolute minimum. All right, we're going to get into the next round right now. This is round number three between Sweden and Glory China. Let's check out Ken as he goes for Razor. You guys might remember Ken as getting from getting that two-star 98% against the lower-level town all time. Yeah, then we've got a similar attack strategy. He's got those eight hog riders again, just one heal spell. So he's certainly out looking for a three-star win here. And uh, so Ken, number two, the mid-level Town Hall 10, going against that slightly vulnerable uh, Town Hall 10, number three. And again, they're already at 12 stars, so the only hope is here to add a three-star win. Yeah, and looking at this base, it's already been attacked by Soso for 64% and two stars. So that's the number you want to look towards. He has to get two stars and above 64% to make an improvement on this raid for Glory China. Yep, so the eight hog riders still in pocket. And haven't been deployed yet. We're obviously waiting for it. Looks like the uh, troops heading in towards that town hall closer. There's the poison spell over the town hall. That's going to slow down the queen. Free spell stops the inferno and the queen completely. And uh, there goes the lava house. Yeah, and that uh, top inferno tower is just going to annihilate the remainder of the hogs as uh, they head towards the core. And that's quick work right there. Yep. Looks like we are closing in on 50% for that second star for Ken. Again, 64% is the magic number. And uh, unless that queen can perform a little bit of a miracle and stay behind that golem, which, again, she's done time and time. But uh, let's go ahead and see what happens as he has to pop her ability. Okay, well, the archer's going to take that army camp and probably swing around to that builder head and get zapped by that Tesla. So that is going to wrap it up for Ken's attack. A nice two-star, but no improvements on their previous one, which means no harm done to Sweden. All right, you can hear the crowd. I heard a go Sweden right there. They're going to be taking on Jamie again, a fully maxed out tower. He's been using close to the strategy of golems for two golems. Two, three, which is like that. Yeah, I like the use of the balloons. Great for using them, especially against the town hall line. You don't have the infernos burning those golems down. So we'll probably see some golems up later on in the attack, and that'll give those balloons a chance to clean up the last defenses around the outside. Especially those pesky cannons that can be tough to slow down that three star attack. Man, that jump spell is awesome. It broke its way. There's like four compartments total with that one spell. Actually, five compartments total with that one spell. Brilliant stuff right there. And that's going to open him up, especially not having any wall breakers left, except for one. Um, he's going to be able to make it through throughout this entire base. Great stuff right there. And uh, 
yeah, yeah. We'll see what happens. But the two speed and a couple of goals should be more than enough to finish off this series. Let's see if the archer right there is going to help out with a couple of the villains. Because, of course, you always have to be a little bit worried about time, especially with villains like the town hall or those gold forges, which take a little bit of time to get through. But let's see what happens. I would probably up that team's ability right now, then, as well as the queen's ability. You don't really need to worry about those. Yeah, you might as well just close it out. There is not a whole lot left to stop this attack. Just over a minute left. The heroes at full health, 93% damage. Well done by Nile. We've seen him just excel all day long. And uh, there goes the Queen's ability. She's going to get through that wall. Looks like just two more structures left. And uh, good sports. We got the, the uh, Chinese are applauding the uh, three-star attack there. And there it is. Here it comes. Nile closing it out. Three stars tying the score. 12 to 12. Sweden one star. Glory China one. Tied at 12 stars with only one attack left. And you know, you have to commend the Swedish players for bringing that back. Three perfect attacks in a row. But you can see the Chinese cheering because yeah. take a look at the total destruction percentage. Unfortunately, they are 4% percent behind. And China does know that they are going to be the first ever Clash yeah. Con winners. Congratulations to Glory China 1. First ever Clash Con Clan War Tournament winners by 4%. A tie score, so it came down to percentage of damage. Let's hear it for them, everyone. Woo! Yeah!